there are many things in life that you can be, be fearful for or fearful of. And because all these were learned in bits and pieces throughout your life, there are ways psychologically to unlearn fear. Hey, what scares you? What is scaring you in life? Why are you not happy? It's because you're scared. I've got some notes with me. I want to read off just a little bit because we're going to talk about fear and why you're scared and how to overcome the fear in your life. Fortunately for us, fear is learned over a lifetime incidents, things that happen during our lives create fear within us. And the good thing is, if fear is learned, fear can be unlearned. So let's cover just a couple topics here. Fears, since fears are learned, you probably have the fear of ridicule and rejection by your friends, family, neighbors. <clears throat> you may fear a loss of a job, your finances, that will just destroy your life. Uh, you may be fearing loss of respect. Uh, you might fear the loss of a loved one. There are many things in life that you can be, be fearful for or fearful of. And because all these were learned in bits and pieces throughout your life, there are ways psychologically to unlearn fear. So I want to tell you a little story about myself. I am not a big man <laughs> by far. I'm 5'6", 160 pounds. I went into the service, the Navy, way back when. But when I went in, I was very young. I was 17 and a half years old. At the time, I was very introverted. I was afraid of the dark. I was afraid of my own shadow. For me to make the leap from being at home and secure with my mommy and my daddy to leave and go in a big wide open world with people I didn't know was petrifying to me. Although at that time in my life, I didn't really have the choice per se, so I opted to go into the Navy. When I first entered, being a small person, and not only being small at the time, when I went in, I wasn't even five six. I was actually four ten, barely the height to even get into the service. I weighed approximately 160 pounds at four ten, so I was kind of short, round little guy. Um, and again, very young, scared, didn't know what to expect. But I learned really, really quick at a very young age by being put in that situation that I better buck up and put on my big boy pants and face my fears. Face my fears of talking to people, meeting people, being talked to from what I thought, <laughs> which were adults in my life. And certainly in the military where you were being told what to do, where to go, how to do it, how high to jump and you better do it. I learned real quick to take the orders, of course, but when I had to learn how to mingle with all these people that I did not know a thing about, and I was scared, I learned to put on a more confident me. Uh, and over the period, I'm gonna say years, I learned to carry myself as a person that was 6'6", 250 pounds. I learned how to stand up straight. I, I didn't learn, I actually self-taught myself. Stand up straight, put a smile on your face, look directly at people's eyes. When you shake somebody's hand, give them a firm handshake. And all these little things I did made me feel confident, made me feel bigger than I was. Uh, and just really overall gave me the confidence to tackle almost any any situation that I was put in. 
so as I went through life, I've always told myself going into new areas, uh, whether it be a new job, uh, a new situation with people I don't know, um, whatever the case may be, I put on a aura of confidence and people watch me. Here's a good example. People watch me on video and they come back and they say, dude, really, you are so comfortable on video. How do you do that? You ought to be this. You ought to be that. And the accolades are great to hear. Although what people don't know is deep down inside, the way down inside, I've got that clump, that choke in my throat, that nervous feeling. And I have learned over time to suppress that to the point that you, you on video out there, or even if you met me in person, would never know that I'm feeling that way. And this was something all in my head, self-taught over the years. I want to go off a couple notes because I want to make sure that I cover not only what I taught myself, but what I read about now and why it's so important for all of you to conquer your fears. <laughs> now, I lost my track. I've got bullet points. And I lost it already. But anyway, uh, we covered some of the fears. But the way to get over some of these fears <clears throat> basically is visualize that you're not afraid. I know a lot of you out here are getting ready to do video because you want to get yourself out in front of people. You want people to know, like, and trust you. And you are just paralyzed with fear that you can't even touch that little button and say record. And if you have, you know what happens. Record and you're frozen, frozen in time and you don't know what to do about it. This is all in your mind. I'm not going to make this about a video presentation, but I do want to make this about why fear is holding you back from the things that you want out of life. Maybe it's not video. Maybe you want that, that raise or that uh, next level of opportunity, but you don't know how to ask because you're afraid. You're afraid of the ridicule from your boss, from your peers, other employees. Maybe somebody will say, you're not worth it. You don't know how to do it. No, you can't have it. So you've already got this going through your mind and you're thinking, oh, I'm not even going to bring it up to anybody because I'm afraid. Don't be afraid. Fear is all in your mind. If you let's say, are going shopping at the mall at night. You're by yourself. Maybe you're a woman. You're getting out of your car and you're looking around and you're all timid and you're, you're scared and you shuffle off into the mall real quick. Why have that? When I see people look like that to me, they look like targets. That's just my observation, not that I am targeting anybody, but there are people out there in the world that do. And when they see people show fear, they can sense it. And if they can sense it, they will take advantage of you. And it doesn't have to be in a parking lot. It doesn't have to be on video. It doesn't have to be at your job. It doesn't have to be with your spouse or home life. It could be anywhere in any situation. If you are showing fear, presenting fear, People will pick up on that. Dogs, for example. Dogs can tell if they like somebody or not. They know if they're going to fear somebody or not. Just by the hormones basically being put off by people. And people that are victims of fear have that projected. It just, it comes off but it's easy to change. Think about it. Think before you enter a situation, put yourself in that what if. What if I came across as confident? I'm the leader. You will listen to me. What I have to say is important. Put that in your mind. Before 
before you even start. If you're going to walk across that dark parking lot by yourself at night and you're scared, don't walk there with your shoulders shrugged over, your head down, you know, looking scared. Stand up straight, confident, smile on your face, maybe even a little bit of a cocky attitude. Look people directly in the eye. Talk to them. Walk with confidence. Everything you do in life starts with your own self-esteem and how you feel about yourself. If you feel confident, you exude confidence. If you feel intelligent about a subject, you will come off as intelligent about a subject. And this is where people lose it, especially online trying to do video is you think you want to encompass the world and talk about things that you know nothing about and then you get lost in your own mind you're already scared and then you start talking off topic about things that you know nothing about and then you're stuttering and stammering and next thing that gets in your mind and pretty soon it's a big mind I'm not say that word big mind twist and you freeze up and that's the end of the everything that's again talking about video online but this goes to the heart of everything in life if you want I'm not gonna say if you want to be happy but happiness starts with yourself happiness starts with your own self-worth your own self-esteem your own lack of fear for what may happen what could happen what did happen any and all starts in your mind. I hope some of these tips helped you. I hope that you know that you are everything you need to be confident in life. Shakespeare once said, I'm going to read this, it's very short. <laughs> Shakespeare once said, and I didn't even write it down, so I'm going to look real quick. Uh oh, how am I going to look at it real quick? I can look at it right here, I do believe. Shakespeare once said, Take arms against a sea of troubles, and doing so, end them. Today was the first time I read that, and it is so true. If you face your fears, take it in an arm the troubles will disappear and this will work with anything you do in life face your fears face that person face that obstacle face that situation tell yourself in your mind beforehand you can do it you know how to do it you are not fearful you are a confident intelligent person I and do this I'm not gonna say it's as easy as that this takes a lot of mental training over a period of time but you can undo your fears just to re you know let's as long as I'm still here let me even say if you're afraid of flying here's another story about myself when I was young the first plane trip I ever took I jumped on that plane and I thought that was the greatest thing since sliced bread flying from one end of the country to the other not fearful at all fast forward 50 years 45 years or so if I get a plane now, personally, I am a little timid, a little afraid. Uh, I like to have that control in my life. I don't want to be in a moving box at 30,000 feet that could fall out of the sky. But I do it. And when I do it, I'm thinking the whole time. It's fine. You've done it a hundred times before. Nothing different than the last time. And that ended up fine. I tell myself that until I calm my nerves. Maybe some deep breathing exercises, maybe a slight meditation, whatever it takes. But really folks, you can get over your fears. And once you calm your fears down, it takes the stress out of your life. And when the stress is reduced, the happy comes in. And when you're happy, it's a big vicious cycle the happier you are the more confident you are the more confident you are 
the more self-esteem you have. The more self-esteem you have, the more confidence you have. And things start rolling. And pretty soon you find out that all those fears that you had were all in your mind. That's it today. This is the Gotti. I hope you got some good tips out of this. I hope I didn't scare you to death. And I hope that you can get over some of the fears you have in life. That's it. Hey, I'll see you all real, real soon. And with all that talk of fear, I hope you're not afraid. I am Brady Theodore, the Gotti. All you have to do is click that button below, the link, the sides, above, wherever it is. You can go to hashtag AskBradyTheGotti to see any of my previous posts on all major platforms. Or you can go to BradyTheodore.com. BradyTheodore.com.